This is in New York. This is Johnny Depp versus the ACLU. Now, this was... This is a specific case to force the ACLU to testify in the Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard case because they didn't want to do it. This is filed in 2021. You see that here? 2021 is when this case was filed. They won. They forced the ACLU to produce documents and a corporate representative. They did not. They did not force the ACLU to produce the person who Amber Heard's team was talking to. They lost. They lost on that. Now, the ACLU, the American Cugs, Cucks, the American Cucks love under cheese. It's the ACLU. Those fucking faggot cunts have decided to sue or motion, I guess, Johnny Depp for their fees related to their production of documents. And I can't say faggot enough. We're past two hours. Faggot, faggot, faggot. Fuck the ACLU. I hope they catch on fire. I hope they get fucked right in the ass and they love it and then hate it because it gets too rough and too dry, and I hope the anal fucking lesions that the ACLU suffers get infected and they die in a fucking hospital. Fuck the ACLU. Fuck you. You sold all of us upriver for wokeness. You used to defend rights, and now you defend lefts only. Fuck the ACLU. fucking hope they die i hate all of them everybody every lawyer who works for the aclu now you're all fucking cucks you're compromised and may you get fisted into death fuck you you took your jd and you sold it for a bill of lies Fuck you. If you work for the ACLU, I hope you get herpes of the mouth, anus, and penis at the same time. I hope your ears inflame from toxoplasmosis as you eat cat shit out of your own litter boxes. You fucking cunts. Die. Die all of you. You fuckers. You defend this corrupt bullshit organization that used to represent rights. And sold all of us out for those sweet, sweet donation dollars. Fuck the ACLU. Fuck you. Fuck you in the mouth and then in the ass and then back in the mouth with shit on the dick that fucked you. God, I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them so much. I hate them. I went to, uh, you have to understand. I went to a cybersecurity meeting, a very secretive one. It's all communists. Literally everybody there is a fucking commie, right? These are people opposing the Dakota Access Pipeline. They're opposing everything. These are fucking communists through and through. And here I am, me and Soder. <laughs> Soder. Uh, Soder's my Discord admin. Soder and I are sitting there and we walk into this place. And he goes, Hey, uh, quick, turn off your fucking phone immediately. So turn off my phone. We, we go through this. It was great. It's fun, fun event. I meet an ACLU, not a lawyer, mind you, but an ACLU representative who's there. They're all about literal communism. They have never, they have not been about rights in probably 25 years at least. They don't care. They've gone woke. They have sold your rights for a slice of that communist pie, buddy. Look, the communist pie is pretty fucking big. I'll give you like a sixteenth of a slice. 
maybe a little bit less, you know, when you get down to it. They ate that communist pie. They love it. They don't care about rights ever again. They're done. They're compromised. They're bullshit. Fuck the ACLU. Okay, anyway. Johnny Depp sued them to try and get them to force them to, you know, because they didn't want to produce documents and they didn't want to produce a person to do this. So let's take a peek at what's going on in this case. ACLU, Benjamin Wisner and Anthony Romero respectfully submit this memorandum of law in support of their motion for production expenses of $86,000, 253 and 26 cents, 86,253.26, which were incurred in complying with three non-party subpoenas deuces tecum served by petitioner John C. Depp II. So these fucking cunts, they were asked to produce documents. They produced the documents only after being forced to, only after being forced to, and and uh, they now want a shitload of fees. Hold on, let me find the fucking document. Here it is. So here's their justification for fees. Take a peek at it. So here's their summary of expenses. Michael Schwartz, senior associate, 40 hours, almost 38.70 at $800 an hour. So he, he merited $30,940. Charlotte Allen, a junior associate, 78.60 hours at $500 an hour. This is a junior associate. Not a junior partner, junior associate. $39,315.72. Oleg Gorlick, litigation support manager. 17 hours and 10 seconds and a measly $336.20 an hour. Does your work merit $336 an hour? He's a litigation support manager. This is not a partner lawyer. $5,749 and 20 and two cents. And Juan Alvarez, a litigation support analyst, not even a manager. Someone who takes anal all day long, 31 hours, 300 bucks an hour, 9,151.20. So this is what they're after, right? That's how they come up with this number. 86,253.26. Preliminary statement, the ACLU non-party seek reimbursement for the considerable expense spent responding to the onerous subpoenas served by Mr. Depp from an underlying action in which neither the ACLU nor any of its employees or parties. Fuck you! The ACLU. What they did, they're not parties because suing the ACLU is a suicide pact with the court because courts and judges are still fucking cucked to the ACLU. They still believe that they're a, an organization of merit. Fuck them. These fucking faggots. They conspired to defame a man. They conspired with Amber Heard's attorneys. They worked with him to defame a man to the maximum extent possible with the least legal exposure they could muster. Fuck these people. They fucking are complicit. They did this. Johnny Depp didn't sue them, which is smart. If he had sued the ACLU, he would have gotten fucked 10 ways to Tuesday. He should not have done it. But they still are complicit. Happy, happy fucking accomplices to Amber Heard. In defaming a man by lying about him, by knowing they knew they knew they lied. They knew it was about him. They crafted this thing so that it would not come back on them. And it still fucking did. And now they want to get out of jail free card. Oh, well, we, we you know, we had to, we had to, we had to preserve all this stuff. We had to respond to all this stuff. We had to have lawyers look at it. Fuck you. No, you didn't. No, 
you didn't. You weren't representing Amber Heard. There's no attorney-client privilege. Fuck you. The reality is they knew what they were doing. They knew they were defaming someone and they did it anyway in the na in the name of wokeness. The ACLU did this. First, Mr. Depp served broad document requests that resulted in a review of over 7,500 documents and a production of nearly 2,000 documents. Second, ACLU produced three witnesses, including its executive director, for over 16 hours of depositions. Not long enough. Fuck you, you cunts. Along the way, Mr. Depp rejected numerous compromises to minimize the burden and expense ACLU and its employees. Those compromises would have not gotten him the testimony he needed at trial. Because, of course, without the testimony at trial, the compromise is worthless. It's a suicide pact. I'll pay you for what I don't need. Fuck off, ACLU. ACLU non-parties have now given Mr. Depp all the discovery he sought. Good. Why did it take you so long? While they cannot get back the significant time they spent responding to Mr. Depp's subpoenas and disruption to their work. What's the ACLU's work this day? What fucking cunt are they gobbling to ruin a man today? What, what second amendment are they ignoring today? What first amendment right are, is the ACLU compromising today? The answer, my friends, is all of the above. And all of them. Fuck the ACLU. The production expenses here include the amounts billed by outside counsel's attorneys to review documents and prepare a privilege log. The amounts, there's no privilege. Amber Heard is not your fucking client, you fucking coward cunts. The amounts billed by outside counsel's technical staff to organize documents and prepare them for production and modest data hosting fees. New York law recognizes each of each of these categories as recoverable production expenses, sort of. Mr. Depp has known from the outset that the ACLU non-parties intended to seek reimbursement for their production expenses. And the expenses incurred are a direct consequence of his broad document requests, which cover a lengthy time period. Call for documents maintained in disparate departments of the ACLU. Oh, well, we have them in disparate departments. Hey, fuck off, cunts. Fuck you. What, disparate departments? Disparate departments? I hope you get fisted by razor wire. And require an extensive privilege review by C there's no privilege. Amber Heard was never your client. Never your client. You know she wasn't your client, you fucks. By seeking all communications about the underlying litigation itself. For these reasons, the court should direct Mr. Depp to reimburse the ACLU non-parties for 86000 The worst part of this is they may win. They may win this. That's the worst part of this. Background proceedings arose from an acrimonious defamation lawsuit between Depp and Heard, blah, 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 blah. Depp's document and deposition subpoenas two years after suing Miss Heard in Virginia. Depp served six foreign subpoenas on the ACLU non-parties, foreign because they're from Virginia into New York. Seeking documents and testimony from the ACLU, Mr. Wisner, an attorney in the ACLU Speech Privacy and Technology Project, Ms. Romero, the ACLU's executive director, the three document subpoenas sought documents on numerous broad subjects. For example, the subpoenas include requests for all documents concerning donations from Ms. Heard to the ACLU. Yep. That shouldn't have been a long list, you fucking liars. All documents concerning publicity and press releases about Ms. Heard's donations. All documents concerning the preparation of the op-ed, 
All communications with Miss Heard or her representatives concerning their relationship between Miss Heard and Mr. Depp. Where's the privilege? Has anybody found any privilege yet? And all communications with Miss Heard or her representatives about the Virginia action, among other topics. None of this is privilege. The ACLU does not, presumably, represent Amber Heard. So what's the privilege review? Why do you need a senior? Why do you need a senior associate from another firm to come in and privilege review it? She's not your client, mate. She never was. Moreover, Mr. Depp's request sought documents spanning a six year period from January 1st through the present. The corporate representative subpoena demanded testimony on a similarly broad range of topics. ACLU non party served written responses and objections in which they indicated. They, they, by the way, this is part of their expenses. They objected to it. They lost. Indicated they intended to seek reimbursement for their production expenses. ACLU non-parties also agreed to conduct a targeted collection of documents that concern the approval, conception, preparation, publication of the op-ed, which was the subject of Mr. Depp's suit against Ms. Heard. Mr. Je Depp rejected this compromise. Yeah, because you didn't give him the data he asked for, you fuckers. And moved to compel compliance with all of the document requests in the subpoenas, as well as to the required to require three depositions. Of course he did. Of course he fucking did. They did not provide what he asked. So he demanded the court to compel production of what he asked. After reviewing Mr. Depp's motion, which emphasized his questions about Mr. Hurd's donations, to the ACLU, the ACLU nonpartisans offered to stipulate to the pertinent facts concerning those donations, which would have eliminated the need for additional document collection and review on the topic. This is called legal extortion. Mr. Depp declined this compromise too. Court granted Mr. Depp's motion in part and ordered nearly full compliance of the six subpoenas. Gee, why the fuck did he reject your compromise, you fucks? Oh, because he would win on the motion. He would win. They had to fully come, almost fully comply because he won. Because what they wanted to give him wasn't enough, and then he won, and he got it. Document production depositions. ACLU conducted their document collection in two phases. Blah, 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 blah. Boring, boring, boring. Let's get to the fucking legal arguments. Production expenses. ACLU non-party seeks $85,156.59 in fees. This isn't covered by the statute, by the way. This is the trick. This is what the ACLU is asking for, but it's not in the statute. And 1096 in costs incurred in responding to the three document subpoenas for a total of 86,253.26. The requested fees consist of 117.3 hours of work by a senior associate and a junior associate. I showed you that earlier. Uh, most of which was conducted by the junior associate. And 48.1 hours of work by two members of outside counsel's technical litigation support team. While all work was supervised by a litigation partner, the ACL did not seek in reimbursement for any of her time. Oh, very, very polite of them. Very polite to not seek reimbursement for the senior partner's time. For the two associates, they seek reimbursement for the time spent reviewing documents. Do not seek reimbursement for outside counsel's time spent discussing document collection. They're trying to mitigate Look, whenever you make these things, you try and eliminate as much as is reasonably eliminable, right? You say, oh, well, I, I'm not asking for this. I'm only asking for the reasonable stuff. Everything, we're very reasonable here. All the stuff we're asking for is presumptively reasonable. Everything unreasonable, we got rid of. So let's get to the fucking legal argument. So here's the thing. We got it. Argument. Pursuant to CPLR 3111 and 3122 D, this, the reasonable production expenses 
of a non-party witness shall be defrayed by the party seeking discovery. See also Tenor versus Kramer. Let's take a look at that. I can't type. Hold on. You guys got me fucking tossed. Here we go. Let's see what the result is. Plaintiff appeals from an order of the Supreme Court, New York County, entered September 14, which denied her motion to hold non-party New York University Lagone Medical Center in contempt for failing to comply with the judicial subpoena and from an order the same court and justice entered September 24th, which transferred the action to the civil court. Let's get to the conclusion. What do we have here? Denied plaintiff's motion to hold non-party NYU in contempt for failing to comply with the judicial subpoena. Should be reversed on the law without cost and the matter remanded the Supreme Court for a hearing on whether the information plaintiff seeks is inaccessible and hence whether you, NYU has the ability to comply with the subpoena. The order of the same court and justice entered September 24th that sua sponte transferred the action to civil court should be reversed on the law without cost and the order of transfer vacated. All concur. Uh, okay, so here, here we have the first. This you'll find. Reasonable production expenses of a non-party witness shall be defrayed by the party seeking discovery. Let's find it. Let's find it. Uh, here we go. It's worth mentioning that CPLR 3111 and 3122D require the re requesting party to defray the reasonable production expenses of a non-party. Accordingly, if the court finds after the hearing that NYU has the ability to produce the data, the court should allocate the cost of this production to plaintiff and should consider whether to include in that allocation the cost of disruption to NYU's normal business operations. Should consider this. In this latter consideration, the court should also take into account that the plaintiff waited one year before sending the subpoena and preservation letter. So they're trying. I know this is thick legal stuff and I'm really, really drunk. This is important. Okay. Don't close your eyes. Don't close your eyes. If I close my eyes, I spin. If you read this. They're saying that reasonable production expenses of a non-party witness shall be defrayed by the party seeking discovery. Costs, not fees. Okay, you have two expenses in court, right? You have costs, which is the cost of producing a thing. It took me 8,000 sheets of paper at five, 000, uh, five cents a sheet right? That's a math formula. 8,000 sheets of paper, five cents a sheet. That's the cost. Sheet, ink, time, boom, you got it. Fees are different. Fees are attorney time multiplied by their rate. So if you have an $800 an hour attorney at 10 hours, you have $8,000, right? Simple. Very simple. Yeah. Fees are not costs, neither of which are expenses. So this is the ACLU problem. They're trying to conflate production expenses with production fees because the cost, which is a different category, by the way, the cost of producing these documents is a thousand bucks. The fees are $85,000. Whoops. New York law requires the requesting party to defray the reasonable production expenses of a non-party. This isn't defined. You'll have to trust me on this because I'm not going to pull it up, but I went through Westlaw. I looked for reasonable production expenses in New York under this rule. Doesn't exist. 
It's not real. It's not a real thing. What they try to argue that is that reasonable production expenses includes fees, attorney fees, as well as costs. But remember, attorney's fees in this instance are $85,000 and costs are about a grand. They're about a grand. That's a disparate, disparate outcome. Okay. I'm going to play the peeing wasted lawyer song. I have to go to the bathroom. I know 90% of you are going to leave because you think I'm quitting the show. I will be back. I just really have to piss and I may need to grab some food because I'm fucking tossed out of my mind. So here we go. Here we go. Don't leave. Here we go. So let's let's rule or let's let's take a look at this. We're going to skim through this argument. The rationale for the rule is manifestly clear. Non-parties should, non should not be burdened with shouldering the cost of litigation to which the non-party is unrelated. If a court finds that a non-party is required to produce information, including electronically stored information, the court should allocate the costs. Words in court have meaning, okay? Costs are the actual costs. The physical production of something. Thumb drives, paper, materials. Fees are what lawyers get paid. We don't get paid costs. We get paid fees. Cost is production of the party seeking discovery. This word is going to encompass the crux of Johnny Depp's argument. Trust me. Trust me. They're going to happily argue for the $1,000 of costs. They're going to argue heavily against $85,000 of fees. Because those fees are fucking bullshit. They're a lie. The ACLU lied. The ACLU conspired to defame a man and then they lied about their costs. By adding in fees. Since ACLU non-parties were required to produce electronically stored information, Mr. Depp is required to reimburse for the reasonable production expenses. That This is not in the statute. They keep saying this. Let's check this out. Let's check out what this says. Case text. Here we go. In this action for breach of contract, the plaintiffs are suing the defendants for allegedly failing to indemnify them under builder's risk insurance policies. Issue the plaintiff. Indemnification of $31 million. Hold on. What the fuck? At five, at page five. Okay, here we go. God damn it. Okay, so here we go. As to Tishman's concerns about the cost of production. Those are addressed, which provides that the reasonable production expenses of a non-party witness shall be defrayed by the party seeking discovery. It's mandatory regardless of the objections and is eminently reasonable here given the defendant's claim needs for the documents to defend against a substantial claim. Thus, the defendant's motion to compel is granted under the condition that the defendants comply with their obligations. What was their obligation? We don't have it. We don't have the fucking obligation. We don't have what they were ordered to pay. Hold on. Hold on. Believe it or not.
I can find this quickly. Too much reading? Yeah, I know. I'm not a robot, you fuckers. Here we go. See what they were ordered to pay. Show documents. Amended complaint. Subpoena. Holy shit. Let me see if I can figure this out. Uh, there's a lot of documents in there. Preliminary conference, compliance conference order. Motion to strike. Fuck. Holy shit. I don't know if I can find this real quick. What is this one? Let's see. It's a motion to strike. That's not it. Hold on. I'm trying to find it here. That's uh, indemnification. See that production order? Where is it? Indica indemnification again. Fuck. Order. Status conference. Boring. Here we go. Let's see. This action seeking indemnification. Defendant served a subpoena. I think this is it. Let's see. Withdrew the request for an order of contempt and asked the court to instead relieve them of their obligation to pay the cost of production estimated by the parties of 40000 Extend and extend the note of issue deadline, blah, blah, blah. Defendant's motion to hold non-party Tishman Construction Corporations in contempt is modified, is granted to the extent this court's order is modified, not obligated to pay costs per CPLR 3122 as directed herein. Tishman to be the same. This court's order dated December is modified. It's a note of issuing filing deadline, the telephonic status conference, blah, 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 blah. Tishman shall pay attorney's fees incurred by the defendants on motion. Okay, so this... Okay. Sorry. I am I know this is weird because I'm talking about it randomly. This... Mr. Deb is required to ACL, uh, reimburse the ACLU for their reasonable production expenses. What actually happened in the case was not this. I know, I, I'm sorry, th this took me a little while to look up. It took me a little while to look up. What happened was they didn't have to pay the production expenses. That's the case that they cited. That's the case that they cited, that they don't have to actually pay this. That's crazy. It is mandatory regardless of any objections, except in the case you cited where it wasn't mandatory because they fucking ignored it. ACLU non-party seek reimbursement for several categories of expenses, each of which is a recoverable production expense. Notice they don't have a citation for this. First, the ACLU seek reimbursement for attorney time. This is the big one. 
and then costs. This is what, okay. So let me summarize this. Let me summarize this for you, for you, the non-lawyer masses. By the way, you're better people than lawyers. Never, ever regret being a non-lawyer mass. Okay. What the HCLU is trying to do. They are trying to give fees along with costs to themselves. Their fees involve $85,000 of attorney fees. The cost of producing the documents was a, a, a grand. Johnny Depp, should he pay the cost of producing the documents? Yes, $1,000. Should, should he pay the ridiculous fees that the ACLU is claiming for review of documents, for, pre, for you know privilege review? No, he should not. Absolutely not. Those are fees, and what the, what the statutes call for is costs. So long story short, that's the argument that Johnny Depp's team will likely make. They will say the statute calls for costs of production, not fees associated with those costs of production. We are not responsible for how cautious the ACLU wants to be in reviewing these documents thoroughly. These fees are excessive. And that is the standard. If the fees are excessive, they are not charged to the requester. However, it's important to note that there is a law requiring payment by the requester for an out-of-state subpoena. And that's what happened here. Johnny Depp does owe the ACLU for something. His attorneys are going to argue that it's the costs just the thousand bucks, thousand seventy five or whatever it is of producing the physical documents. They're going to say the ACLU says we want the fees of our lawyers to review it. What happens will happen. We don't know, but that's what's going on. I'm so fucking tossed guys.